Experiencing Yivo is like opening a book to one of the richest, most extraordinary stories ever told. And it's all true. There are lots of organizations that focus on Jewish loss and the atrocities of the Holocaust. And of course, that is a crucial chapter that we honor. There's the registry book at Auschwitz. We have a book that was signed by 14,000 children in the large ghetto. But the YIVO Institute is different. We tell the whole story of the Jewish experience. YIVO was founded in 1925 in Vilna, Poland, and YIVO's original mission was to collect and study the stuff of everyday Jewish life. A group of scholars decided that if they didn't begin collecting material related to this culture and this history, it would disappear. People like Freud and Einstein were interested enough in YIVO to join their honorary advisory board. There were Zomlers who collected everything from everywhere. During Nazi occupation, a group of resistors called the Paper Brigade risked their lives hiding artifacts in basements and attics and truly saved Jewish culture from extinction. Today we have 24 million artifacts and documents that span 60 countries and 400 years. Evo's collection is awesome. Every day you open a box and find something new from presidents to food labels, periodicals in every language. The YIVO Library has over 440,000 volumes. You can find books from Italy, from Venice, from you know the Ottoman Empire, Istanbul. It's from Grossinger's resort to the rarest Hasidic manuscripts of the 18th century. It's literally a universe of Jewish culture that you really can't find anywhere else. It's not just about telling the stories, it's about preserving and conserving them. The million and a half documents that we just got through digitizing and the 20,000 books, why is that important? It's important because if nobody reads it, it doesn't exist. Thank you all for coming. We offer over 60 in-person and online programs a year inspired by our archives. Malt herring, boiled potato, raw onion, and a shot of vodka is all you need. These are sweetbreads. Brains. Try it. Everything from a conference on anarchism to concerts of Yiddish folk song to spirited classroom debate in Yiddish. Wird er sich beteiligen in der lebendigen Schmuz wegen TikTok auf Yiddish? Kim Sins. And an exhibition on Jews and cannabis. Cannabis is referenced in the Talmud and other Jewish traditional texts. And yes, that's a menorah bar. Evo's primary sources and first-hand accounts help writers, filmmakers, musicians tell their stories. When the head of Evo mentioned lost documents were discovered, it was as a spark went off. I had to retell these stories in pictures and words. I became a writer because of what I learned in Evo. The greats are all here, including the great aunts. I can't tell you how many people come here researching broader history and wind up discovering their personal history. What you discover at Evo is this amazing totality of Jewish stories. That is what tells us how we got from Mount Sinai to Bloomingdale's. Telling the whole story means connecting the chapters to where we are today. This is my story. It's your story. It has a beginning, it has a middle, and we will make sure no end.